I felt during this time that I needed to speak a little bit about how people may have problems with sleeping. Insomnia is an issue that tends to affect persons um, for various reasons and you may have different types of insomnia. You may have a difficulty falling asleep in the first place or you may fall asleep and then wake up back, fall asleep and wake up back or you may fall asleep, wake up back and not be able to get back to sleep. And the interesting thing about insomnia is that it affects persons of all different ages, races, genders and of different social status. So it's not dependent specifically on anything apart from the fact that you may have some sort of mental, emotional or physical issue which you need to deal with. And the interesting thing is we live in this technological age where we are so much at this ease or we have these lifestyle diseases such as hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease. Persons as they get older especially tend to suffer from strokes and heart attacks. And it's all because of how we've started to live our lives, the type of food that we eat and the sedentary lifestyles that we live. And it ends up where we end up also having problems with our sleep. In this technological age, we also look a lot on our cell phones and we look on a lot of things on the internet and on our laptops. So there is a lot of light coming into our brains all the time, this different wavelength of light, which also affects the chemistry of our brains, causing persons not to sleep, right? So. I wanted to go to three simple techniques that have helped my me. I myself have had issues with insomnia and I've gotten over it. And I mean, there are so many persons who have spoken on this issue, but the important thing is that your issue, your issue with insomnia, your issue with difficulty sleeping is specific to you yes but there are others who have also gone through it so if you're having a difficult time now in finding your rest know that others have been through the same issue so you're not alone we can go through a reset i also want to talk about refocusing ourselves and i also want to talk about recapturing your life when I say reset, in the Bible, in Psalm 46 verse 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the hidden. I will be exalted in the earth. And it's basically God's admonition to men that He is sovereign over everything. And we can be able to rest in Him. So, we spoke a lot about some of how the world has allowed us to not eat properly, to be too technological and affect um, the normal everyday things that we do, causing us to be too tired sometimes and not being able to sleep. You know, some persons have an issue where when they're about to sleep, their minds go through every scenario that is in the book and everything that they need to do for the next day and they end up running through their mind, running through their mind, they get a little sleep, wake up back and then it ends up where they don't get any sleep at all and they have spent the night just thinking and rethinking things through their minds. So one of the things that many experts also advocate is to form a level of meditation or a safe space and you can meditate in different ways you can listen to things 
um, and I don't mean to just constantly be listening to music all the time that is also maybe an issue because if you are if you cannot find rest by only if you can find rest sorry by only plugging in something into your ears that means your brain is not quite at the calm that it should be so some persons have used different sorts of meditation they have done spiritual things I am a Christian so I tend to pray a lot both in the morning and in the night to calm my brain waves down to reduce the level of stress that I may be feeling and improve the good hormones that are pumping out of my brain another thing which is important in a reset phase for you to get your mind back to a center stage is to exercise and eat properly now a lot of the food that we tend to consume is very fatty it's very much filled with fried food and oil because of the fast food culture that we have and that unfortunately is not good for not only your state of size or the fact that you can also get lifestyle diseases but it also affects the chemistry in your brain and causes you not to sleep well so many persons also advocate that you ensure that you intake a lot of fresh organic type foods so ensure that you get fruits and vegetables ensure that you're getting fibrous substances into your body um, it's also important that you do some sort of level of exercise now exercise is something that helps you to feel a lot more confident in yourself it gives you some sort of increased self-esteem it allows you to improve the physical fitness of your body it also ensures that throughout the day you have stretched your body to a certain amount that when it's when you're ready to want to sleep you are tired and will fall asleep it also it releases a lot of good chemicals in your body and in your brain that allows you to sleep well let's talk a little bit more about recapturing yourself no sorry refocusing yourself now when you refocus yourself in the Bible it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your requests known to God and the peace that passes all understanding shall be in your mind or guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus and that's taken from Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 so God is trying to show us that we should be anxious for nothing and we have to realize that God in his supreme wisdom has allowed us to be able to refocus ourselves when we start to focus ourselves on the things that we do on a daily basis then we're better able to catch those bits of rest or sleep that we need each night and some of the things that may cause um, us to not be sleeping well maybe mental or emotional issues and some persons try to stay away from therapists or psychologists or psychiatrists but they have their place in society they are the persons who know the behaviors of the brain best and the structures or the rudiments of doing a cognitive behavioral therapy or you know a neuro linguistic programming programming sorry for example can bring back persons to some sort of focus when they go through a focused period of speaking to a therapist if you don't want to speak to a therapist you can speak to a guidance counselor or even a pastor who has some training 
in guidance counseling and it's very important it doesn't even have to be somebody as well licensed as that as long as you can find somebody who you can speak to about various issues and also to find solutions for your issues so yes you may have some sort of mental or emotional problems persons can suffer from depression or anxiety and that's the realm of the psychologist and the psychiatrist but persons go through life with many difficulties as well they may have issues with their family with their finances they may be you know going through some sort of divorce they may be going through a resettlement and they have lost their income or they may have lost their job many things can cause you to get into a heightened state of anxiety or stress and cause you to lose your sleep so in finding solutions to the problems that you face you then start to gear your mind to reach a level or a state of rest and in refocusing yourself apart from going through a period where you're speaking to somebody you also need to find solutions to whatever issues you are facing whether it is mental or emotional or whether it's some sort of abuse or whether it is some sort of normal you know everyday issue that we normally go through that may even cause us to have some sort of insomnia the next thing I want to talk about is recapturing yourself now it says in Philippians 4 verse 13 that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and the interesting thing about staying your mind on God is that he allows you to be able to go through your life with a renewed sense of hope a sense of faithfulness a sense of realizing that whatever thing you face you will be able to accomplish your dreams and your goals and you'll be able to face anything in life because you know that God is on your side in recapturing your life you have to start to find back that joy you know some persons will go through insomnia unfortunately go through this sad stage where whether they're fearful or they're angry about something they lose their normal think level of thinking and they get sad and in that stage of refreshing yourself refocusing yourself recentering yourself and then recapturing yourself you now have to find back that joy that you lost in life you have to find back a way to step outside see the sun shining and be grateful gratefulness is another key to ensuring that you stay not just happy but joyful in your life another thing that is also important is persons who may have some issues with anxiety or they may have issues where they're always thinking about what they are supposed to do and they get anxious need to know how to plan their days they need to know how to set goals stick by them and plan their days so that they're they're way ahead of the game so to speak and that they know what they want out of themselves over a period of time as well as out of their lives now your life is something that was not just given to you to be here one day eat as much food as you want have as much fun as you want and then you die you have been given this life to glorify God by every deed that you do every thought every word every deed that you do you have been brought here to bring some glory to God and if you can think of the fact that you have your identity in Christ that as the Apostle Paul says you are in in God you are righteous then you will realize that you should approach your life 
knowing that God has foreknew you and predestined you to a specific calling. And if you can think of that, you will realize that there is so much more than worrying about some of the things that may be causing you to not have your sleep. And it will cause you to approach your life very much more positively. Now those were some of the things that I thought of as I reflected on persons who may be having issues with sleeping. You need to reset yourself, you need to refocus yourself, and you need to recapture some of the joy in life. Now, if you like this video, you can press like and share it with your friends. And also remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. But also importantly, I will put some resources down in the description of this video. There are many persons who have discussed issues related to difficulty sleeping, problems with anxiety, depression, problems in your life that may be causing you to be lacking in sleep. And so I felt this little 15 minute talk would not be enough to cover all of those things. Some of these persons who I'm going to reference are secular, some are religious, and it's a wide scale of different things that I want us to look at. A holistic, healthy lifestyle is what is good for you. And bringing yourself back to that center will allow you to catch back some of those sleep that you've been missing or some of that sleep that you've been missing. God be with you and trust me, you'll catch back your 40 wings in due time. God be with you.